Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm a member of the IBEX Education and Public Outreach team. We've designed a series of videos to show you how to facilitate the IBEX educational activities for informal audiences, such as museum visitors or after-school program participants. This video is for the activity titled Particle Detection. The IBEX spacecraft orbits Earth and studies the interaction between the material that streams off the sun, called the solar wind, as it interacts with the material between the stars, called the interstellar medium. That process creates energetic neutral atoms, or ENAs, which are atoms that are moving really fast but have no charge. Some of those ENAs happen to come toward our vicinity of the solar system, where the IBEX spacecraft collects them, using its two sensors, called IBEX High and IBEX low. Now particle detection shows how the IBEX spacecraft collects these particles and how we can create a map of the boundary of our solar system using this information. So the setup for particle detection is fairly simple but you'll need to do some prep work ahead of time to get all the materials ready. First, you will need 16 clear plastic tubes. Now these tubes work pretty well. They are 12 inches long and 3 inches wide. And you'll want 16 of them because you're going to be hooking four of them together. In this case, we used clear packing tape. And you'll want four sets of these total. And so we have attached these to heavy cardstock. And so it just keeps it a little sturdier when you're working with a big group of people. Also, you want to number each of the tubes 1, 2, 3, and 4. So just make four identical sets of these clear plastic tubes. All right, next, you'll need masking tape. Now, the masking tape will be used to mark off the Ibex spacecraft on the floor. So just have a roll handy. You won't need a whole lot of it. Then you will need balloons. In this case, this is balloons filled with rice. Or if you happen to have them, bean bags are fine. But this is an inexpensive option. You'll want to have certain colors. So you want red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And so these are representing the different energy levels of particles that the IBEX spacecraft is detecting using its IBEX high and IBEX low detectors. Now to represent those detectors, we have buckets. And you want to have four buckets total. We have the lids for the buckets as well. That is also important to have. So make sure you've got the lids for all of your buckets. Now you want this bucket here. It is labeled one and you want to color it red and orange. This one is labeled with a two and you want it colored orange and yellow. Next, we have this bucket labeled three is yellow and green. And then finally, we have this bucket labeled four is green and blue. And this is what the, we're representing the different energy levels that the uh, IBEX high and IBEX low particle detectors are actually detecting at any one time. So the different colors, if you don't have a bucket that you can use to uh, take a, a permanent marker and actually color them, you can cover these with construction paper, uh, whatever you have on hand, just to make sure that the colors are nice and bright so they're easily seen. And basically, once you've done all that, you are ready to go to set up particle detection. So particle detection takes up a bit of space. So select a space that is at least 10 feet by 10 feet, but a little larger is even better. You'll want enough room for as many as 15 to 30 people to stand and participate. Now first, make an eight-sided masking tape figure on the floor. This represents the IBEX spacecraft. If you want to make the masking tape figure actual size, you can. Ibex is 38 inches across. Next, set up each of the sets of tubes on the floor, one set for each quadrant. Toss out a supply of bean bags or balloons to all parts of the quadrants so that everyone has at least a few. Make sure the colors are spread out randomly. When people pick them up, they should just grab them and not pay any attention to the colors. Set up the buckets with their lids. The buckets labeled 1 and 2 represent the IBEX low sensor. The buckets labeled 3 and 4 represent the IBEX high sensor. Keep the buckets always in a straight line. 
Ibex High and Ibex Low are on opposite sides of the spacecraft from each other. Okay, now you should be ready to go. All right, everybody, we are going to do the activity called particle detection. In this activity, we're investigating how the Ibex spacecraft detects particles coming from the edge of our solar system, and from that, how we can make a map of what's going on there. Now, you guys are representing the edge of our solar system, but are you all to scale? Is this all to scale with, with the real solar system? No, definitely not. Our Ibex spacecraft isn't too far away from being the right size, but no, definitely the edge of our solar system is far beyond the orbit of Pluto, about three times farther than the orbit of Pluto on average. So what we've got here is our Ibex spacecraft, and it has two sensors called Ibex High and Ibex Low. And so we've got our buckets representing the two sensors. You guys are representing the edge of our solar system, and the bean bags that we have here are representing our particles. What you're going to do is toss the particles toward the sensors when I say go. And you're going to try to get them into the bucket. Now, I don't want you to pay any attention to color. I don't want you to pay any attention to anything except stop and go. All right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to toss them, and we're going to see what ends up in the buckets. And I'll talk a little more about that when we're, when we're done doing that. OK, you guys ready? Yeah. OK, first of all, we're going to have you guys toss. So you are going to toss to these two buckets. You and I are going to toss to these two buckets, and only these two. OK, imagine there's an imaginary wall in between these buckets. So don't try to hit the far one. All right, that would be good, but we'd have to take them out. So you guys understand? All right, and when I switch, you'll toss again, and then I'm going to turn the buckets, and then you guys are going to get to go. All right? You ready? Okay, so on the count of three, just want you to grab a few particles, a few bean bags. Go ahead. So on the count of three, we are going to toss toward our buckets, so go ahead and grab some bean bags. Yep. All right, like I said, don't pay any attention to the colors in your hands, just toss randomly. All right, you ready? One, two, three, toss. And stop. OK, I'm going to switch. Now, I'm switching these lids because the Ibex sensors can detect certain energy levels of particles, but it doesn't do it all at the same time. It can only detect certain energy levels at certain times. So I just pretended we switched energy levels here. And so we've got our, uh, our buckets open again. So on the count of three, we are going to toss again. Ready? One, two, three, go. And sometimes some of them make it in, and sometimes some of them don't. Stop. All right. Now, let us figure out what's going on here. So these two buckets are representing the Ibex high sensor. All right. These two buckets are representing the Ibex low sensor. When, the bu when this bucket is on, when I've got it uncovered, it can obviously only detect certain energies of particles. Which color balloons do you think we have to pay attention to? Green and blue, exactly. So do I have green and blue in my hand? One of each. So I want you, or one, one blue, one not. So we can't count that one. So Ibex didn't detect that particle. So we can count this. So this blue balloon is going to go in tube number four. So I'm going to toss this over. There you go. Put in tube number four. And then green and yellow. Lo and behold, we did pretty good there. So we're going to put all of these in tube number three. three. Exactly. All right, for you guys. Which energy level particles can we detect? Yellow and orange. And so can I detect all these? Just the orange one, exactly. So which tube is this going to go into? Two. Tube number two. So hand that over. And then which ones can we detect here? Orange and red. Orange and red. Do we have any orange and red? No. No. So nothing goes in that tube there. OK. So now we're going to switch the buckets. Now you see that I did put a few into some of the tubes ahead of time, just so you could see what this would look like. All right, I'm going to switch because the Ibex spacecraft spins. And so we are going to imagine that. We're going to spin. There we go. All right, you guys get the idea? You ready to toss? Grab some bean bags. And I'm going to stay here. All right. On the count of three, ready? Wait. Oh, you ready? All right. One, two, three, go. All 
right. Keep going and stop. All right, let me switch. We're going to switch our energy level that the sensors can detect. And ready? One, two, three, go. And stop. Okay. All right. So for this one, we've got certain particles. Can we count them all? Nope. I need to get rid of the orange and red. So this goes into tube number four. Very good. And then can we count them all? Nope. Just there's that lowly green one. There we go. In tube number three. All right. And can we count them all? Just orange and red. So, oh, we did pretty well there. So we can put that in tube number one. And then orange and yellow. Can we count them? Nope. Okay. So what I want you to do is take a look around to all the tubes around all the entire sky. Do we have exactly the same number of particles coming from all parts of the sky? No, we don't. We have different parts of the sky, different particles from different energy levels coming from all different parts of the sky. Now, what is important to the, to the scientists then is to find out why. Why do we have different numbers coming from different parts of the sky? And that is something that the IBEX scientists are really interested in finding out. Um, so they make a map from this information. So if we were to, say, make a map um, maybe of energy level number one, we would look at all the particles coming from different parts of the sky and make a map of everything, all the numbers from each tube with the number one. And then we could have a number two map and a number three map and a number four map. That's it. So that is particle detection. You have now explored how the IBEX spacecraft collects particles from different parts of the sky. It spins, and we can detect those different energy levels at different times. Thank you so much for participating in particle detection. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about particle detection. For more information about this activity and to download the lesson plan, please visit our website at www.ibex.swri.edu. Thanks for watching.